The word refuge for me means welcome. Usually refugees come from environments from which they've been rejected. The welcome has been denied them. The worst part of being a refugee initially is that you have to beg for care. That, I remember it so clearly, you know, even when I was 14 and I was waiting for my political asylum, I was thinking, what if I don't get it? And so much of a human being's worth gets reduced to the moment where the country either say, yes, we'll protect you and we'll take you as a refugee, or the country says no. Because if you really think about it from the refugee's perspective, the refugees lost absolutely everything. Their possessions in their country, their status, their sense of identity, everything by which they define themselves. And they end up in a stranger country with the clothes on their back and practically nothing at the mercy of another human being's kindness or some paper dropping through the letterbox that says, yes, you're worthy of being saved and cherished or no, we're going to reject you and we're not going to take you. What people have got to understand is when you don't give sanctuary to a human being, you could either be returning them to a threat to their life or you are communicating to them that they're not worthy of your welcome. That's how profound the rejection is. People think that refugees just take and they deplete the country's resources. But if you were a bit more truthful, a refugee may temporarily take, but in the end, they give much more than they take. They have contributed hugely to the infrastructure of this country.